We head up the hill away from the ocean here at the eighth hole, Rich. A lovely par three, but all the challenges in the green. It is. It's very wide, not very deep. Players going in there with kind of mid irons to short irons. Uphill the entire way. Difficult to get it on that back level when they stick the pin all the way on top. Well, that should find the bunker. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but... Well, 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 all my friends. <coughs> Pardon me. Welcome back again. And uh, today we are at the Farmers Insurance Open Round 1 competition. So moving along on, uh, <coughs> part me, on our course to capture the flag, so to speak. You know, going for the old... Uh, a whole enchilada here on the career move thing so yeah but anyway that's enough talking we know what this is about eh let's go get some shall we all right you guys i'll see you out on the course it's insurance open <laughs> it's about to begin i'm luke elvey alongside rich beam in the booth and it's a hello to henny koyak down on the course following our featured group Hi Luke, I'm very much looking forward to bringing you the action from the golf course for this week's feature group. Now there is a sense of maybe fear, heightened competition this week, as this player has said that they're starting up a rivalry with their playing partner. And this Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. This shot from 120 yards. Straight down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. And he's hit that inside the range. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this part 14 feet from the cup. This is what they have left for birdie here. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. And that will drop in for a birdie. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. And that makes him tied for first. The second, a short par four, one that the players like to take on these days, Rich. A good birdie look here. They do. It used to be where you laid back on top of the hill and took a wedge, nine iron sometimes for your second shot, but a lot of players now are challenging that bunker down the right-hand side, getting as far down there as possible, and just having a flick with a sand wedge in for their seconds. After a very consistent run of play over the last half a dozen starts or so, Rich, this player's coming with a whole heap of confidence, and they look to me to be one of the players to beat. Do you agree? We've seen this player time and time again contend for tournaments, and it is no surprise to see him doing it once again this week. It is so fun watching this player. They're in top form. And now over to Justin Rose. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Let's return to live play now. A birdie putter waits. Nice stroke. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. There are so many stunning golf holes on this entire property. And this third, the par three downhill, certainly one of the elite holes on the course. It might be stunning to look at, but it is painful. Can be extremely painful 
to play. Downhill all the way. When they tuck the pin over on the left-hand side, forget about it. Never hit it there. Only when the pin is on the center or the right part of the green should you be taking dead aim. Other than that, center the green all day long. That might be one club too many. They're looking to get this one close in hopes of saving par. Oh, what a super shot. Nothing like it. Good stuff. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. Great feel, great judge, great speed. Yeah, I like this. Currently at three under for the day. One of the hardest holes on the entire property is the par four fourth ridge. It is a strong demanding hole right from TD Green. Very picturesque this fourth hole. Pacific Ocean directly to the golfer's left hand side. Don't be sucked in the, by the views. However, you want no part of that. And you certainly don't want any part of that fairway bunker down the right hand side either. Find the fairway and you've got a good chance of knocking it on this green and two. Be wary though, anything long and left on this green is no good. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Standing up over this one after a bunch of birdies. Always a good way to start. Let's see where they go from here. Needs this one to kick right. That's not the outcome they were after. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. That almost went down. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Oh, what a stroke. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. He's currently in fifth place. Didn't that look good for a long time? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. There's a real premium on your tee shots here at Torrey Pine South Course. Keeping ball in fairways critical, and that is illustrated also by the par four fifth. This fairway cambers from left to right, which helps a fade on this hole. However, don't get too overzealous and pull it because that fairway bunker down the left, that sees a lot of action. Second shot is a green that pitches back towards you from back to front. That's got a lot of movement over on the left-hand side. From around 140 yards here. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Really controlled the flight there nicely with that wind. Putting for birdie here. Okay, steady now. It's just about three feet away. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. And now over to Justin Rose. He's going to want to improve on that current fifth spot. Wow. That was handy holding out from there. Out of the rough, into the hole. Thank you very much.
Rich, there are a number of strong holes on this outward half, but the par five sixth, the players are definitely thinking birdie here, but it's all set up by the tee shot. It's a nice reprieve, this par five. Just a little bit dog leg from left to right. Keep it shy of those fairway bunkers down the left-hand side, and almost every player will give it a go in two. This is a three-tiered green with a low area over on the left-hand side that sees a lot of action. You like that, didn't you? Rich, we know these days with the PJ Tour and the wraparound schedule, uh, the tour begins in the fall, but really it's felt at the start of any new year that every time you come to Torrey Pines, the big stars come out to play. It feels like the authentic start to the season. It certainly does that. And I think that the big name players, the accomplished players, love coming here to Torrey Pines because it's going to give them a gauge of exactly where their game is at and what they need to work on. Because you can't go around either the north or the south course and geek it around. You have to be on your game. You have to drive the ball well. Your iron play has to be spot on. And your short game better be sharp because if not, you're going to shoot a million. Both of these golf courses very challenging, but they're fair. And I think that's what the players love about it. If you're in a good zone mentally and everything is going well physically, you can produce a 64 or 65. But if you're hitting it poorly and you're not thinking squarely, I'm telling you what, 77s and 78s come into the equation real quick. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The par four seventh, a little dog leg left to right. Again, positioning of the tee is key. This fairway slopes pretty good from left to right. Players want to start it out at the fairway bunker down the left-hand side and just hit a gentle fade off of that. Second shot here is to an elevated green. Don't go long whatsoever here. That's when the Barranca and the Canyons come into play. That tee shot looks pretty good. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Wind's starting to get up, but it's helping, which is nice. Going with the pitching wedge here. Come on, get down. Getting ready to play their third. Currently leading by two. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Just six feet between here and the hole. Nice little par putt here. Yeah, nicely hold. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Here's Justin Rose. Going with the six iron here. Well, this one's right at the pin. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is up by three shots. We head up the hill away from the ocean here at the eighth hole, Rich. A lovely par three, but all the challenges in the green. It is. It's very wide, not very deep. Players going in there with kind of mid irons to short irons. Uphill the entire way. Difficult to get it on that back level when they stick the pin all the way on top. Well, that should find the bunker. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. And coming up well short. And now over to Justin Rose. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? 
This next one from the beach. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. And that was a bogey by our leader. So the rest of the field feeling a little opportunity here to close the gap. Colin Morikawa is coming off a bogey and that will drop him to three strokes off the lead. The par five ninth is a monster over 600 yards, Rich challenging to say the least i think the challenging part about it lucas is just straight away you have to hit a straight tee shot a straight second shot and a straight third shot to find the green in three it really is just that simple and straightforward the green does have two tiers on it but for the most part luke it's an inviting third shot ah that's not the shot he's hoping for oh henny that looks like a putrid lie is it bad looks like they have a bad lie here in the first cut And here we are with the third shot. Now a three-shot lead over the field. Oh, absolutely flushed. Trying to get to five under with this putt. Ooh. An opportunity to make a par here. And as we transition into the back nine, Rich, what are you seeing out there so far? Yeah, fantastic round today. Lots of golf yet to be played. Lots of great players chasing this player. Let's see if they can keep up the good work. Setting up in the first cut. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. Nicely done. And this putt will take them to five under. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Oh, so close. Just a four-footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. Currently three strokes up after that hole. There aren't too many easy holes here at Torrey Pine South, but the course certainly gets tougher as we head to the par 3 11th. This green from the back tee looks minuscule. 
There's just not a lot of room on the front of it. Even the back section, which it does get a little bit wider, it still is very small. A massive shelf, top left. If you get it up there, happy days for you. If not, just find the green, two putt, make three, move on. And wow, what an approach. That was a golf shot. Justin Rose may be feeling a bit of pressure in this rivalry after that performance. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, Rich, how good is that? That'll help make a big move. So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. We head to the 12th hole. This par four is as big and as strong and as tough as you find anywhere on the PGA Tour. This is about as tough a hole as you're going to find anywhere on the planet. Prevailing wind coming right back into the players. You just have to step up and hit a solid tee shot to find the fairway. From there, you're going in with a mid to long iron, sometimes even a hybrid to a green that sits just above you. Not a ton of movement, but enough from back right to front left to make you think. Going with the five iron here. That's it. It's okay. Getting ready to play their third. Wonderfully played. Putting for par. Just didn't drop. Well, the leader giving a little hope for the rest of the field there as they put down a bogey on the scorecard. All right, Rich. The par 5 13th, so much has been said about it. I'm interested in your thoughts. This is one of the most interesting par 5s you'll ever play. If you hit a good tee shot, find the fairway, and you have the opportunity to reach, then happy days. But if you don't find the fairway or can't reach, now you've got to lay up into a low area where you're going to have a third shot that's absolutely blind. This third shot could be one of the most difficult third shots on the PGA Tour, bar none. Is there anything classier than someone that could hit a driver off the deck? Oh, that was pure. And here we are with the third shot. He's got a two-stroke buffer. That could play. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 13th. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. And now over to Justin Rose. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Wow, what a save. Oh, here he comes into the top 10 with a bolt. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four.
from about 130 yards here. Wynn moving right to left on this shot. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. That was a beauty. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. This should play. Oh, great shot. Holes out for a birdie. Check this out. Holding it out from the fairway. That away. Great shot. Ooh, a nine foot chance here. This for a birdie birdie run. That was a gallant attempt. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. Leading by three strokes now. We stride across the 15th, Rich, and we talk about strong par fours. This is another one. As big as 12 was, Luke, this is almost twice the size, if you can imagine it, with a tiny, tiny landing area out there. This is possibly the meanest hole on this golf course. Not hardest, meanest. If you've walked off with par on this hole, job well done, my friend. Going with the five wood. That should find the surface. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. And he's down there. You got a read? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. That's inside the range. And that will take him to six under. Our leader is up by four shots now. 16th, the last of the par threes on this golf course, but it's not an easy one. This is underrated difficult. The green is big in size, but it plays awfully small because there's really small sections to this green. The front, the back right, and the top left. If you find the right section, job well done. If you don't, it's going to be a difficult two-putt to say the least. Okay, that'll work. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Ouch, that hurts. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Pretty straightforward four footer coming up here. This for par. That will work. And now over to Justin Rose. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Let's take a look at Justin Rose, shall we? And there it goes from the sand. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. The penultimate hole at Torrey Pine South is not a long par four, but the danger lurks everywhere. They moved this fairway to the left alongside the canyon a few years ago, which really enhanced the beauty, but also the fear of this hole. You have to challenge the left-hand side because the bunker down the right is really no good. From there, the green, it tilts from back to front, mostly with a really low section over there on the left-hand side. However, it still is a promising birdie opportunity. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Got to make sure to control the flight here because the wind was well, straight into their face. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it though. Let's see. 
Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Good look at birdie here. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, that's frustrating. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is up by four shots now. In the finishing hole here at Torrey Pines South, one of the more famous on the PGA Tour, site of so many of Tiger's wonderful victories. Par five, you can get there in two. You can, but you have to thread your drive in between those four fairway bunkers that line the fairway. From there, now you have to think, do I want to take on this flag with the bunkers right, bunkers left, and certainly the water in front. It's a daunting second shot, but if you're brave enough to take it on, then you could reap massive rewards. Second shot here on the 18th hole. Sitting at seven under par for the day. Currently in the lead. That was wonderfully done. This putt is of nine feet. Round now in the books. Good luck next time. And that there is the completion of a very nice day's work. Has the lead, Rich? They're going to be sleeping on the lead, which is always a nice feeling, but a lot of golf yet to be played in this tournament. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. Well, there we go. All righty, we'll take that. Eight under for the D. Uh, some mistakes were made. There's... Uh, <laughs> a couple of holes I can think of that I uh, could have done better, <laughs> to say the least. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for sticking with me and watching this. I, I do appreciate that. And uh, I think we're going to wrap her up here for the day and uh, get ready for tomorrow's action. So, as always, brightest blessings, my friend. And uh, love and light, yeah? Yeah, go tell somebody you love me. Make their day better. Bye for now.